This is MM SMR. And today I am back with another video featuring some art and of course my pointer. This is the most difficult video I've ever had to film, um, just from a perspective point of view. So I want you to please bear with me. Today I'm going to be showing you seven pieces of artwork, original artwork, and I'm going to be pointing out some things about them. And I'm also going to be showing you um, a collection of shoes that I created that was inspired by the art. So let's just jump right into it. So this is the first piece of art. And as you can see, it lights up. All of these little pieces here, one, two, three, four, five, the sixth one up here, these are lights. Um, this is a sculptural wall hanging. It is lying on the floor right now, just because um, having it lie on the floor was the easiest way to film this. But, um, sorry about that. And I'm sorry for the shadows in here. But this is the first art piece, and it is made with a bunch of found objects. Um, so we have a, a little cabinet um, grasp here, wooden pieces, beads, we have glass pieces, foil, rhinestones, and as you can see, it's black, white, and red with a lot of gold and silver. Every piece you see today is going to be black, white, gold, and silver with another main color. So in this case, the main color is red. And this one is called um, Harlequin's Prosperity. And it is a diamond shape and it hangs from a wall. And then, to match this, I designed this shoe. Um, I will wear this shoe out. Um, I've worn it to supermarkets. I've worn it to both fancy events and just everyday type of things. When I got it, it was just a very plain white shoe, a white wedge, and I decorated it. And as you can see, or as you're going to see in a minute, the shoe and the art piece share very, very, very similar patterns. Do you see that? So we have black and white and gold and red all around the shoe. And the shoe is very, very glittery, as is the art piece, even if that's not showing on camera. So this is the red set. Now, I am going to place the camera down and I'm going to get the next set. Let me move this out of the way. And thank you for bearing with me and being patient with me. This is definitely the most difficult video I've ever filmed. I wasn't even sure if I wanted to attempt this, but so many of you enjoyed my art. I thought I might as well because these will soon be leaving to go to a gallery. So, I figured I might as well do this video now. So this is the next piece. This is the orange piece. And this is called um, Trickster's, what is this? Trickster's Luxury. Yeah, Trickster's Luxury is the name of this one. And as you can see, it has little lighted portions here, here, here here and here. I don't know if the camera's showing it, but this is actually a bead, an orange bead. So when the light's on, this shines orange, as does this and this. This is also made with an array of found objects. We have beads, we have gold coins, we have tiles, little snowflake foils, doorknobs, these are little washers. If you've ever been to Home Depot, they're washers that have been coated with nail polish. And as you might notice from this one, 
we have a color scheme of white, black, and orange, and a lot of gold and silver. So for this one, um, orange is the theme color, and then we have black, white, gold, and silver. Black, white, and gold, and silver on all of these pieces. And this collection is called the Bejeweled and Bedazzle Collection. They're all sculptural wall hangings, and they all light up. Now one thing you're going to notice in this one, there's a lot of circles. There's also squares and lines, but a lot of circles throughout this whole thing. The circles are sort of a theme. And that's important when you look at the shoe that goes with this piece. So the shoe that goes with this piece um, features orange and gold and black and white and an orange rhinestone. And then all around the base are these circles. And then on the side, if you notice on this side, the orange is on top and the yellow is on the gold is on bottom. On this side, the orange is on bottom and the gold is on top. And we have some um, lines of beads down this way. And then if you look at the straps, they also have squares with circles in between them. And then the main strap, whoops, that goes around the foot, all of the feature, all the beads are three-dimensional. So we have rhinestones and pearls in this way. And again, I will wear these out to the store. I have no shame when it comes to shoes. So I will literally just wear these on like an average day. And let me just show you. You see the way that the pattern on the shoe matches the pattern on the piece of artwork that inspired it. So here we go. So this one is Trickster's Luxury. Yeah. I have memorized these names. In a lot of my art, I have not memorized the names. But here we go. I'm going to sit down. Um, these are the art pieces that I am most well known for. They've been shown a lot. Um, but I love these pieces, and that's why I decided to do some shoes based on them. So the next piece I'm going to show you is called Prankster's Opulence. Prankster's Opulence. And this is a really pretty yellow piece. So it's black and white and yellow. Let me try to get it away from the shadow here. So as you can see, on the top of this one, we have a little bridge. And so we have yellow, silver, yellow. We have little bottle caps here, and then washers and beads inside the bottle caps. We have this lovely yellow acrylic. And the lights just went out, and I don't know why. I think the batteries are gone. But anyway, we have all these yellow acrylics down the side. They come down the side this way, too. And then on the bottom, we have one, two, three blocks that are covered in silver foil. Two of them are rectangles. One of them looks like a little bridge. And they all have the yellow pieces. We have a washer here with a yellow stone in the center. Let's see if I can get these lights back on. Part of the reason I decided to do this video tonight is that, there we go. I was taking these out anyway to make sure that nobody needed their battery changed. And this one does. Um, this, this is a yellow ribbon in a package. And this is a um, wooden piece that has been painted. Here is a rhinestone. And then just some black and white polka dots and one, two, three acrylics, four, five acrylics. And then we have pearls and black stones coming down this way. So as you can see, there is a lot going on with this piece. All of these pieces are done on 10 by 10 inch boards, but this one extends a little longer. This one's about 14 inches by, maybe because of these, like maybe 14 inches by 12 and a half inches. The biggest piece is the orange piece. That is 14 by 14 inches. So there's the yellow piece. And then it inspired this shoe. Now this shoe ties kind of oddly when you have it on your foot. It has like a double tie. And I love this piece. So on the shoe we have yellow and then we have black and white triangles and some silver outline. 
And then in the center, there is a tile. And then on the other side, you have the same thing. We also have triangles up the side, and on the back, we have book cuts. Oh, and then over here, we have a triangle on this side, too, on the back. And on the other shoe, I'm only showing one shoe from each collection, but on the other shoe, the matching shoe, the black triangles on the bottom and the white ones on the top, so everything is, like, reversed. <laughs> so here is the shoe with the art piece that inspired it. And I love this one. I actually think this board and this shoe are my absolute favorites, personally. But that's just my opinion. I, I love them all, you know, it's really hard to pick. Um, what's interesting is that these shoes have actually been part of a fashion show here in New York. A couple, two uh, fashion shows in October. And they were part of a big one in February that was part of New York Fashion Week. And I will create these shoes for people, if they want them, for $250, any color and pattern that they want. So here comes the next one. So this one is a nice green piece. One second, let me just sort the bottom out of this one. And this one is a green piece. Oops. I'm having trouble. I just stick the battery pack in this a little stronger. Now, this one I just changed the lights on, and they are very, very bright. I may have to turn them off so you can see the piece in full because of the glare from the camera. This one is called Clown's Wealth, and it is white, black, and green with a lot of gold and silver, of course. It is very bright, very shiny, and as you can see, triangles are the main theme here. A lot of circles in with the triangles. But triangles are the primary theme. We have these washers on the side. We have some foil bits down here. We have lots and lots of rhinestones and washers and bottle caps and all of these incredible found objects. One second. Let me just go ahead and shut this off just so you can see it. This is one that I feel it's so bright at this point that it's actually kind of hard to see the artwork. Okay, sorry about that. So see, now you can see it. It's so bright in here anyway. So this one is called Clown's Wealth. And this one inspired one of the most popular shoes. So here is the shoe that this piece inspired. And as you can see, the shoe also has green pieces with gold and white and black. Look at the rhinestones on this thing. It is crazy. There's rhinestones up the back. I actually have this unzipped right now, but the zipper itself is also second. The zipper itself is also painted black. It's all down the back and to the sides. And I was very careful when I designed this. See the way you have these little peepholes? I made sure to put some rhinestones all around it. So this shoe I wear to a lot of events, um, and it gets a lot of attention. So let me just show you it. So there is the shoe and the art piece that inspired it together. And hold on, I will show what it looks like lit up again with the shoe next to it. Yeah, I need to really secure the battery pack. So there's the lid piece with the shoe. Hmm. Okay. And again, everybody, thank you for bearing with me with this. I know that these are not really traditional ASMR videos, but it's, it's actually very hard to find uh, charts for ASMR videos like I do. Like, I've done a lot of um, pointing videos, like color and exam and eye test, which are my favorite type of videos. But it's getting harder to find charts for them now. Although I do have another one coming up for you guys really soon. But still, it's just sometimes I have to do something a little different and try to tell what to do that you like. And I kind of like this one because, you know, whenever I show off my art, you can see you all seem to like it. And it's also very colorful. 
and I can point to stuff with it. So that's why we do these art videos now. So here is another one. This is another one that's really kind of one of my favorites. Um, and this one, let me just double check something one second. This one I believe needs to have its battery changed. That's why the lights are a little um, dull. But this one is again in a triangular diamond shape. This one is called Joker's Fortune. And it is white, black, gold, silver, and blue. So blue is the primary color being shown off here. And as you can see, we have these found objects. We have these pearls up here. We have bottle caps. We have um, glass elements, wood elements, rhinestones, beads. Um, these are coming up black on camera for some reason, but in real life, these are a very dark, rich blue. And then we have these three little pearlescent circles with little foils in the center. We have a dark blue foil, a white foil, a silver foil, and a light blue foil. We have a, a bottle cap with a rhinestone. And then little tiles. And just lots and lots of colors and brightness. And the shoe that was created to pair with this is also really bright and colorful and crazy. So this is the shoe that was paired with this piece. Here it is from the back. It's very shiny. This is another shoe that I have worn to a lot of events and it gets a lot of attention. I, I love this kind of hair. These, I've been told that these look like mermaid shoes and I love fantasy and I love mermaids so that was like the greatest compliment I was ever given. Um, but yeah, there you go. So this is the blue collection. As you can see, there's kind of wavy lines in the blue uh, sculptural wall hanging. Even though it's lying on the floor now, it's a wall hanging. Um, see the way that like they're kind of swirling patterns? And I made the same sort of swirling patterns here. Because it is it's sort of like the ocean in certain ways. So that's the blue piece. I'm just going to move this out of the way. And if you're watching this, please let me know in the comments which one of these, these boards and these shoes is your personal favorite. And I know that they're kind of strange, so I'll understand if you don't really like them or understand them. But they're just meant to be bright and happy and colorful. And if they make you smile when you look at them, then they've done their job. Now this is the purple piece. Um, this one desperately, desperately needs its battery changed. I mean, it's like on its last legs. Like one, two, three, four. You see these little lights? These are all lights, but they're very kind of dim um, at this point. They need to get their own. There's another one back here that's lighting up this um, lilac purple bead. But these, this needs its battery changed. So as you can see, this piece is white, black, and purple. Now on camera, unfortunately, I don't think it's showing up what a deep, rich purple this actually is. Um, this board is very, very royal purple, and its main theme are squares. So we have squares down the side with the rhinestones, and then we have squares at the bottom with circular beads. There's a lot of circles in this too, but squares are really the primary thing here. Oh, and then we have like even like these are found objects these are gold coins like that you see a Halloween for pirates and I just put tile on top of them Oops. that's getting very bright I may have to actually shut this off just to show it off to you a little bit because that, that light is still so bright and that's before I've changed the batteries on me so it just shows you how bright these get and I don't know if the purple is shining through a little bit more on this now so um, the shoe that accompanies this is actually another one that has been immensely popular with people. So this is the shoe that follows it. This is the purple shoe. Now this shoe and the, I would say this shoe and the green shoe are the two that have gotten the most attention. Here it is on the back, by the way. Yeah. And I just kept the zipper silver. But as you can see, it's got all these little, and yes, I'm a seven and a half, 
but I just didn't bother taking the tag off <laughs> because when I bought this, it was a very plain shoe. I had to do all this work to it, but it's got squares around the sides, around the front, and even the front down here. And these are actually holding up pretty well, considering that I have worn them a lot. I've worn these to all kinds of events. Many, many events. So let me show you with this. And this. So there is the purple set. And I will light the purple one up again. So I'm just gonna... And again, I'm sorry for the camera angle if it's dizzying. I had no idea how I was gonna make this video. So there is the lit purple art with the purple shoe. Okay. And even I like the fact that around here there's purple and then there's a black outline with gold, so with gold glitter. <laughs> and these are tiles. These are just tiles got Home Depot. They're kind of three dimensional. But I really like wearing these shoes. And obviously when I wear these shoes, I have outfits that match all like black, white, gold or silver jewelry, and then purple, obviously. So whenever I'm wearing a shoes, I always have jewelry and a shirt to match and my pants and make sure I'm very color coordinated with this sort of stuff. I color coordinate every day anyway, even if I'm just going to the supermarket. And I can't leave the house without being color coordinated. Okay, so now we have come to Oh, and I forgot to mention to you. I'm sorry guys, I forgot to tell you that this one is called Fool's Treasure. So this is Fool's Treasure. I forgot to mention the name, I'm sorry. Okay. You know what, I might as well list the names in the description box as well. So now we only have one piece left. And I think you can probably guess the color. This is the final piece. And it is a lovely pink piece. And as you can see, it's playing with triangular shapes, almost harlequin shapes. It is black, white, gold, silver, and pink. And this one is very, very fancy. It's got triangles on the top with foil and gold for pearls. These are little tiny lights. That are, they're pink lights, and I have the tea lights in them, so um, the battery-operated lights, so it actually shines pink. This is um, a pink bead that's being lit from the back by a light. This is another one that the lights are very dulled right now, so I, I have to change them. On this side here, we have white, black, and then we have a, bo a gold bottle cap with pink in the center. We have the same thing on this side. Although one thing you will notice on this side is that it's black on the bottom, and this one, it's white on the bottom. This one's black on top, white on top. I like to reverse stuff just like I do with these. Oh, and these are actually um, very light pink. For some reason, this looks silver on camera, and silver would go with it, but the little line is silver. But this is light pink, this is light pink. They're all light pink beads. I don't know why they look silver against the black on camera, but in real life, they all come across as light, gray, as light pink. The camera does strange stuff. So this is another little um, cabinet handle. These are erasers that I painted gold with nail polish and then put polka dots on. These are little earrings or pieces of jewelry that I sacrificed to art. Um, a lot of beads. All the little triangles came from like um, um, puzzle sets and things like that. So this is, oh, and then these are bottle caps and you have the washers that were painted pink. And tiles. Let me set this down for a second. Oh, and let me just double check, yeah. This one is called Jester's Riches. This one is Jester's Riches. And I will go ahead and put the, um, the names at the bottom in the description box. So, the shoe that aligns with this one is a little crazy but I just wore this out yesterday to uh, an event I was at and it got a lot of attention. So this is the crazy shoe. So from the top, it's like very abstract. It's very like 
a lot of circles and a lot of these weird shapes and I wanted these circles and weird shapes because a lot of circles in the piece. But from the side you have the triangle and then from the back it's all holocrine. Look at that. And it shines and it shines. Here's this in the back and this is really back on the back. And these get a ton of attention. So let me just try to show the piece. So here it is from the front. But then you really see how they match really well. Oh, well probably better to do it this way. You really see how they match well when you see the shoe from the side with the piece. So this one's gestures riches. And these two wedges are extremely, extremely comfortable. And I did include like light pink, dark pink. Um, all the white is pearlescent, so everything is shiny. The black has just been coated, so it's very, very shiny. Of course, all my stuff has to be shiny and bright and loud. It just can't be any other way. So that is the final set. I'm going to put this one away. So thank you for watching this. I know that this is not traditional ASMR, but I thought I would film this video for you because some of you have really expressed um, enjoyment from looking at my art and I just thought you know it was nice because they were colorful and I could use my pointer to point some things out about them and um, yeah and I just thought it was cute to show how they look with the shoes as well um, they are going away to a gallery for about a month and a half or so um, on Saturday so I just thought I might as well take them out tonight I was checking the um, the lights, the gallery obviously doesn't leave the lights on all the time, but for the opening night they want to. And I was checking to see which ones needed their batteries changed, and I thought to myself, you know what, I have them out of the box anyway, I might as well just grab the shoes and do um, an ASMR video with them, kind of on spec. So I hope you guys like this. Um, I will have a more traditional ASMR video, like one of the the charts with the colors and the pointer and everything, um, kind of eye exam. I will have that for you soon um, because, you know, I am aware that my art is something that is not supposed, my ASMR channel is not supposed to be about my art. So I'm always really grateful that you guys are willing to look at it um, and, you know, you've made some really nice comments about it, which is great. But I definitely want to keep my channel dedicated to, like, the eye exam color test. Um, but occasionally I enjoy these flights of fancy. <laughs> so thank you for watching, and please check back to my channel soon for more videos. Good night. Sleep well.